So, uh, dudes, welcome to a COD commentary. It's 2009. We out here. Modern Warfare 2. You already know what it is. Pro Elite XX36 Niner Gamer fucking coming at you live with me getting shot from a fucking M4 right off the bat. Because why would you use any other gun in this f <laughs> Nah, just kidding. I have a whole bunch of COD clips that I have just sitting around, and I wanted to do some commentary videos with them since I'm going to be out of town for the weekend. And some uploads are better than no uploads, right? At least that's what I think some of you are under the impression of. Uh, so I'm just going to spitball a little bit about my first impressions of the COD multiplayer now that it's out for the full release as opposed to the beta. I've been playing it quite a lot. Uh, I have a lot more hours plugged into it on my record than I honestly should right now, and um, I guess that's a testament to how how addictive this game is. And I don't mean addictive in the sense of like, I can't control my gaming habits. It's more like, it's just a fucking satisfying COD experience, and it's always asking me to play just a little bit more. I want to get that one game where I just frag the fuck out. Just one more, man. Just one more. I got it. This is this is my time to shine. I always have that feeling like every time that I queue in a multiplayer match of the new Modern Warfare, regardless of how trash I play the last time, or regardless of uh, whether I should quit while I'm ahead if I drop a fucking 25 kill bomb on people. And I know that I'm not exactly a fragging type of FPS player. Uh, you guys, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that I mainly play support characters in Siege. I mainly play Anchors, I mainly play Hard Breach, uh, characters like Thatcher, Electronic Denial, stuff like that. But in COD, this is the only game where I truly feel comfortable just going in, balls deep, guns blazing, running around like a crackhead. And that's because Call of Duty definitely favors this kind of playstyle. It always has, uh, especially Infinity Ward CODs, that's sort of what made Infinity Ward uh, Call of Duty games a lot more popular. They always favored the quick scoping. They always favored the, uh, you know, the more trick shoddy MLG Pro Gamer Elite kind of audience uh, that Call of Duty is both famous and uh, equally infamous for. Um, but there are a lot of problems that I have with the game right now. You can see me get really mad at a kid uh, using a shotgun, and I'm like, okay, let's not be toxic, Gregor. Let's not do that. Um, but that's that's the first thing I'm gonna talk about right out of the gate. So, in in true Call of Duty fashion. This game has really, really, really broken gun options. And, of course, it's an Infinity Ward COD, and there's always going to be your UMP-45s. There's going to be your Spaz-12s, your Model 1887s. Uh, but, but this time, it's, uh... Oh, man. It's, it's pretty tough. Um, the, uh, the two main culprits right now uh, that you'll see in pretty much every, like, super, super duper try-hard sweat loadout are the M4 and the Olympia. It's not called an Olympia in game, it's called a 725, but it's a, it's an Olympia. It's a break action shotgun, um, over under break action shotgun with two barrels. Uh, and it's, it's nuts. It has a one shot kill range that I'm sure is a lot higher, uh, than how the Spaz 12 was in, uh, in Modern Warfare 2. Probably just, just about as far as the, as the Model 1887s. Maybe not quite as bad, I know. Uh, that looking back with the nostalgia goggles, uh, those things were just, just absolutely, just, just dumb if you played Modern Warfare 2 10 years ago. Uh, and those eventually got nerfed, and, um, you know, I'm not saying that that's not gonna happen to the Olympia in this game eventually, and I, I have no doubt that it will. Uh, but for the time being, it's, uh, it's pretty tough, man. Sometimes it just gets a little agitating to play against if you're just playing against a whole stack of dudes that are all running... M4 Olympia, and the only way that you're going to compete in a gunfight with these kids is if you do the same thing. So I have a, I have a break in case of try hard class, and I'm not saying that I don't try hard in COD. It's fucking COD. Of course I try hard. I'm just saying that in a in a humorous sense to describe people uh, who who apparently have a lot of fun just using the most broken guns in the game. I don't I don't see how that's fun to people. I don't really derive much of a challenge from that. I like to push my limits and test myself, test the limits of my aim and my, um, 
gun and ability in COD games, because I don't really get to do that in other FPSs. So I don't know why you would run around with the M4 all the time. Uh, it just doesn't, just doesn't seem like a lot of fun to me. I would rather use the mobility and the ADS advantage that the SMGs get. Plus the hip fire too. Uh, the MP5, I've gone back and forth between a lot of the submachine guns in this game, and um, after just about maxing out the AUG, I, I want to like the AUG more than other SMGs right now, but it just it just doesn't have enough punch, man. It just doesn't have enough like punch at, at close range for me to consider using it over other SMGs. And right now, I think the MP5 is uh, is filling my fix. It has really really good hip fire accuracy without any attachments. I'm I'm doing all this without any any attachments, by the way. Uh, the MP5 that I'm running right now. So this is this is bare bones. This is a naked MP5, and. It's great. It doesn't have as much damage as other ARs at range, and not as much damage at range as the AUG. That's the one thing that the AUG has over other SMGs. Uh, the most range compared to guns like the P90, the Bison, the Uzi. Uh, the Uzi stinks, which really sucks. I wanted the Uzi to be good. Uh, but right now, this is like my favorite running gun SMG class. I'm running Ghost, Cold Blooded, and uh, Tracker to not get blown up by Claymores all the time. Or maybe I have Battle Hard and when I did this playthrough. I don't, I don't really remember. Um, but the one issue that I do have with running SMGs in this game, uh, if, if you're, if your tracking is good, and by tracking I mean your ability to keep your cursor, like, on a target for sustained periods of time, uh, you're not gonna notice the problem as much with the SMGs. This guy is a really good gamer, you can see me talking a little smack to him there, uh, in the bottom left. Um, th you're not gonna have a really good time trying to compete at medium to long ranges, with the SMGs compared to somebody else who's aiming just as well as you with an AR. And that's fine, because um, SMGs I don't think should are, are supposed to be used at super duper long range. Uh, again, love, lovely Olympia there, great gun. Uh, why would you use anything else? Um, but I've definitely had a lot of instances, particularly with the M4. Like, I think the M4's DPS is just way too freaking, like, it's, it's so freaking fast time to kill, dude. Uh, and, and it has a comparable time to kill to a lot of the SMGs of the game in, in, at close range. So it's one of those situations where it's like, what, what trade-offs do you have? I, I know that other ARs, uh, excel at fighting at that medium to medium long range sort of, sort of, um, style of play. Uh, particularly the Kilo, particularly the M13 and the Scar. Those all do really well at that kind of, uh, what we would consider medium range engagements. Uh, but the M4 is just good at everything. So, it's kind of a shame that, uh, right now, I seem to be getting into a lot of gunfights with people with guns that I want to use, like the MP5, and it doesn't matter if I light them up first, it doesn't matter if I'm hitting all of my shots, I just get gunned by the M4, because it's the M4, and it's a great gun. <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. yeah. Of course he is. Why am I losing a gunfight like that? It's an Infinity Ward COD, it's it's pretty much an AR COD, uh, not gonna lie to you on that one. I guess I would say if, uh, I'm gonna wait to see what the COD League is doing, the COD League players are, are picking, um, whatever gun is gonna be used the most. I, I would consider, if they're gonna use any SMG at all, it's probably gonna be the MP5, um, but it's pretty much just gonna be MP5, or it's pretty much gonna be M4s all day, bro. Like, I, I just, I just don't have a doubt in my mind about that. Uh, another thing that I don't like about this new iteration of COD, um, people be camping. Um, particularly the Olympia is just, is just super freaking strong. Uh, if you're trying to, if you're trying to get rid of a guy who's, uh, who's got a tent set up in a building with an Olympia, good, good fucking luck, man. Like, you're gonna need to use all your stuns, your flashbangs, grenades, whatever. You're gonna have to blow all of your utility to get rid of this guy. And I'm not denying the idea that because someone is fighting from a defensive posture, naturally they're going to have an advantage in a gunfight over somebody who's just going to... You know, that's, that's just how shooter games are. But the Olympia is one-shot kill range. I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to insert a couple of clips here uh, in this commentary just to give you guys an idea of just... What the fuck? Like, who, who looked at this and thought, okay, this, yeah, this is fine. This is fine. I think maybe, like, a more powerful version of the Olympia in Black Ops w would have been okay. It's it's just really frustrating. And I think the reason that a lot of people are camping with these guns, with, with shotguns, with claymores, um, 
there's a perk that allows you to get two freaking claymores, by the way. Yeah, because because you really need that, right? Um, there's a perk that lets you get two claymores to just to just be the most annoying person in the world. Um, in addition to that, uh, an interesting development in this new COD is that Infinity Ward have embraced uh, the most COD elements of COD in the past, and uh, we have gone to a kill streaks only. COD. It's not score streaks anymore. It's purely about getting hot and getting a bunch of frags. It's not about capping points. It's not about defending points. It's all about kills. And this causes people, I think, to just to just chill and not play objective. Uh, this this match in particular, I'm using in this commentary because I'm just busting my ass here, bro. This was this final moment here is really the the moment that like separated the game. Uh, from a win to a loss. Uh, 12 captures, 12 defends. Please! <laughs> Help me, bro! Please! Please. If I start streaming this game, we'll, we'll definitely try to do some, like, follower or subscriber streams. Just, just cause, like, I, I need, I need stacks, bro! I can't do- It's so frustrating, just- I try really hard to be nice and just be like, Okay, guys, hey, um, I need some help here, but what I really want to say is, Stop playing fucking objective modes if you don't want to play the objective! Uh, but yeah. Right there with the satchel charge. That guy was tagged as shit, that's the only reason I won that gunfight. I whiffed like shit, but it's okay. Uh, cause we won. And here I am, capping this point. And we're Gucci. But, as you can see, it's not, in, in casual matchmaking, I'm not sure about competitive COD, if people even give a shit about competitive COD, I don't know how many of you do, probably not a lot, um, but it's still viable to run around like a maniac, like a crackhead with an SMG, just, you know, nerf the M4, man, nerf the M4, nerf the Olympia, uh, reduce the range of the Claymores a little bit, and, and I think we're, uh, I think we're good. Overall, I think this COD is something that you can enjoy if you're a fan of the original series of games. Uh, but if it's if you didn't like playing COD before, you're not gonna like it much more because this is like this is like distilled vinegar. This is like the red wine of COD games. It is the most COD COD to have ever COD'ed. And if you don't like COD, you're not gonna like it. So don't buy it. Uh, but that's pretty much it from me. Uh, expect some more videos like this in the future, and I will see you all back on Monday. All right, deuces. <laughs>